So I'm sure you all know Blender, the lovely 3D modeling software where you, of course, make 3D models. But what if I could make Blender a little bit more challenging for the sole purpose of watch time? <laughs> I mean, uh, your entertainment. So today I'm going to be making a model, specifically the Empire State Building, with only my keyboard, no mouse. This ended up taking me a very long time. I was modeling for over an hour and I ended up having to Google hundreds of millions of keyboard shortcuts. Cuts. I also turned on screencast keys to prove that I wasn't using my mouse, but because I made a couple cuts, I'll upload the raw footage just to prove to you guys that I actually didn't use my mouse at all. So enjoy some wonderful footage of me losing my mind. I started with the reference image already in place because there's no way to input files without your mouse, unfortunately. From there, the key to this challenge was numpad 2, 4, 6, and 8. Since they allowed me to navigate the viewport without using the middle mouse button, I could also use plus and minus to zoom in and out, so the only type of movement I couldn't do was moving my camera with shift and middle mouse button, but that wasn't that big of a deal. Then I added a plane with shift A. I tapped into edit mode, pressed A to select it, and started extruding and insetting with E and I. After after you press them, you can enter a numerical value for their size, and you can just press enter to confirm it, so I was doing just fine. Now the hard part that nearly sent me insane was that I couldn't select faces. I had to press F3 and search for the random selection tool, and just pray that it randomly selected the faces that I needed. I also found that you can press Ctrl plus and Ctrl minus to increase and decrease your selection. I fiddled with these tools for about 5 minutes before I finally got the ring that I needed selected, then Ctrl and B to bevel, then Ctrl plus plus and minus to move my selection up and down to scale and bevel more stuff. Now this loop cut was the pride and joy of this entire challenge. I press Ctrl A to activate it, numpad 1 to go to a 2D view, and plus to zoom in enough that the loop cut would automatically line up with the center face that I needed it in. Then I hit enter to confirm it and beveled it and I had successfully selected the center faces without actually clicking them. Now I pressed F3 and searched for checker deselect. Miraculously, this deselect selected the corner faces that I didn't need. I then hit F3 again and tried to subdivide them, but it was subdividing the corner faces too for some reason, so I hit F3 and separated them. Unfortunately though, I couldn't get the separated faces into edit mode by themselves because I had to click on them to make them the active object in object mode, so I just had to use my randomly select control plus and minus technique to get them selected again. Then I F3 subdivided them, hit I twice to inset individual faces, and then I F3 searched for different extrude tools until one of them made the faces look like windows. Then I hit enter, tabbed out of edit mode, and randomly selected viewport objects until I had my image selected. Then I pressed H to hide it. And finally, after like an hour of fidgeting around with my keyboard, the model was done. And as I said before, I'll be uploading the raw footage just to prove that I actually did make this with only my keyboard. But yeah, after about an hour of modeling and googling a ton of stuff, it was done. Uh, yeah, never do this challenge. It sucked and I could have modeled this with my mouse in about five minutes. Happy 3D modeling, and be sure to check out some of my models from TurboSquid. A couple of them come straight from my videos. 